Hello everyone and welcome to Echoes of the Plum Grove, given to me by Unwound Games. I don't know too much about this, apart from it's got like a farm stylish kind of game, so we'll see how it goes. I do like farm games, don't let anyone say otherwise, I really do enjoy them. Cozy game to the wind. Ooh! We do enjoy a game that allows pronouns. My big sis, for example, um, goes by they, them, and the only reason I call them big sis is because they see it as a title rather than me doing something to do with gender. Gender? Gender. Okay. Hmm. I think I prefer button nose. Let's see. Ah, uh, that's one thing I wish more games had. The I kind of wish that the game had more opportunities for different coloured hair rather than just the natural. But that's just me. Don't take me word for it. It's just the way I am. I like the style of clothing you can get as well. Hmm. Uh, let's go with this one because I clicked it first. Oh, they've got different diets. Ooh. Ooh, now we're talking. You know, we'll just go with white style. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. <laughs> uh, yep, we'll go matching. And I wear glasses IRL. Um, that's the closest. Although mine aren't squared. They're more. Um, let's go. Kata. Kata. Katastrophe. There we go. Perfect. I look like a granny. Am I meant to be playing a granny? I don't know. The style right now is giving like Paper Mario Cornucopia vibes. Oh, there's me. Is that my backpack? Why am I not having the backpack on my back? Oh, I thought I was late waiting for that lady. Is this like the colonial period? Am I waiting for someone? I guess not. Am I going on a bit voyage? My dearest friend, you have finally arrived! Just beyond that horizon lies a new world, a fresh start. I hope you're as excited as I am. Just think of all the opportunities that await us. Soon the two of us will occupy our own plot of land and we can begin our new adventure. A land on which to grow what we please, to build what we please. The possibilities are limitless. All aboard, we'll be departing momentarily. Passengers to your designated area, if you please. Ah, it's just about time. There'll be ample opportunity to catch up in the weeks to come. You, you, you're just gonna ignore me now? Smooth graphics. Really do like them. Especially the water. The water looks really good. A lot of games don't get water quite right, and it just looks weird. So, was that England and we're going to America, maybe? Oh, God, I'm gonna get seasick. I'm gonna get motion sickness. Yeah, this story is a fierce one. The wheel, I can't keep her steady. Hang on, everyone. The wood is cracking beneath us. I fear this may be the end of poor us all. My friend, we cannot afford to die here. We have so much to live for. The hall is broken apart. Everyone abandoned ship. My dearest friend, I have treasured the time we spent together. If by chance one of us should perish, please take care of the... Take care of the what? Is there pets involved? A baby? A child? You can't leave me hanging like that. It's just rude. Oh, I'm in bed. Hello, Granny. Goodness, you're finally awake. We had such a terrible storm last night. The little old lighthouse was rattling something fierce. Imagine my surprise when I found you washed up on the beach this morning. I couldn't just leave you there, of course. But, my dear, I hate to be the bearer of grave news. I'm afraid you may be the only survivor. Oh dear. 
We found you amidst the wreckage. The others, I fear, have likely perished in the dreadful storm. <laughs> Don't fret, dearie. That was quite an ordeal, I'm sure. But you're safe now, and that's what matters. <laughs> I know this is a lot to take in. I can only imagine. But when you're feeling up to it, I have someone who wishes to meet with you. Someone rather important, no less. Just head through the door when you're ready. We'll be waiting. Is she a ghost? <laughs> she just ran through the door. Ghosty. It really is like Cornucopia and Mary. Can I go up here? No. Oh, the door auto unlocks when you go near it. That's cool. Aha! So good to see you up and about. Feeling better then? No broken bones? I heard about your situation. Such a tragedy. The sea is a cruel mistress. At the same time, I must offer you a proper welcome. Though the circumstances may be less than ideal, you've found your way to our fair town of Honeywood. Wait, Honeywood? Oh god! Oh god, people are dirtly! Woohoo! The name's Quinton Whitfield. I'm the mayor here. Did you just eat something? I presume you're one of the fine folks who purchased that old lot out east. We were on the lookout for you and your friend. Timothy was his name, I believe. I'm afraid he may not survive the shipwreck. Tragedy, to be sure. Alas, that old farm remains as vacant as ever, and those weeds aren't going to cut themselves. I just woke up! What say you? Would you be willing to settle on our fair island nonetheless? It's settled then. Follow me and I'll take you to Newheim. It's but a short distance from here over the bridge to the east. Take care, my dear. I packed some food to help you get started. Space to eat. It'll be in your inventory, press I. Many thanks for your hospitality, Luna. Now, off to the farm. And she didn't even make the bed. Dirty girl. <laughs> I really like the art style. It's like a 3D landscape with the 2D characters. It's pretty cool. The waves seem calmer than usual this morning. The calm after the storm, perhaps. You see, despite the storms that come through here, we're a regular stop in the trade routes. I like your boots. They kind of look like skates for some reason, though. I want to see you skate. No? Okay. This here is our charming schoolhouse where the children of Honeywood spend their days learning. Guys, I am a huge fan of Viva La Dirt League. Check them out on YouTube. If you see me fangirling every time it says Honeywood, just look up NPC Man. You'll soon understand why. Mayhaps your own offspring will one day go here too. Now, where was that thing? Oh, it's a map. Ah yes, here it is. I'm so glad I always keep an extra one. So you shan't be lost, I present you with a map of the island. It's yours to keep. West from here is the centre of Honeywood, and my estate. You can ponder your map later, press P, press M, press P, press M, <laughs> to see where things are located. And which shops are open at what time of day. Click on signposts on the map to fast travel to different locations around the island. This will help you move around more easily. Now, let us keep moving. We're but a few minutes away. Well, you're the one who stopped moving. Nice tree. Very pretty. Ooh, I'd like one of those in my back garden, to be honest. How to tell us the farm. Oh dear. My, my, I hadn't realised the farm had fallen in such disrepair. You did mention weeds earlier. Well, that just means you can truly make it your own. And our day's work is good for the soul, isn't that right? Although it might take more than a day's work to clean this place up. Oh. Did you sneeze? 
Now, there's a topic of taxes. The land is yours to keep, but taxes will always be due at the end of every week. Excuse you? You're going to tax me when I just got here? You can find me at the town hall later today to sign your name on the deed and work out the details of the payment. Uh, no? I don't care if it's called Honeywood anymore. I refuse to live in Honeywood. Oh, I almost forgot. The previous owners might have left behind some equipment in the farmhouse when they left. Be sure to take a look. There might be some tools lying around to help you get started. So, if I don't sign the paperwork, does that mean I don't need to pay taxes? That could be something. Oops. Oh, okay. Let's have a look in the farmhouse, shall we? Okay, what's this? Oh, crafting table. Nice. Ooh. I like the design. It really does remind me... Ooh, these are seeds. There to be a lot of cornucopia, to be honest. Can I... Uh, okay, just left of it. So, what is that that I picked up? What is that? A oh, drying, drying rack. Okay. What would I need a drying rack for? Well, I suppose I'll learn. How does how does how do? I okay. Fine. You you say there, drying rack. I don't know what to do with you, but okay. See, that's for mining. This is a hoe. Okay, so there we go. This the this layout really does remind me a bit of cornucopia, but I find there's a certain charm to this style because cornucopia's got like a pixelated design. This has got more of a uh, I'm not sure what you'd call this style, but I like it. I do like it. So we've got some seeds. I am not playing my debt. I am not signing that thing. You cannot make me. Unless the game somehow decides, hey, uh, you can't continue playing the game unless you pay your debts. I literally just woke up. I could have amnesia. They didn't check to not see if I knew my own name or where I came from. Hmm. I could have been anyone. It could have just been coincidence that I land ended up in the area. They don't know who I am. They knew the name of Timothy, but they didn't know my name. They didn't give me a name. They didn't say my name. I could be anyone. Also, why does it look like I have like a ponytail on the side? I'm not sure if that's meant to be the star, but okay. I wonder if I can get some better tools that are a little bit faster because this feels a little bit slow for some reason. Okay, it is nearly midday. At least the watering can is holding up quite well, so I don't need to refill it for quite some time. Okay, okay. What's the hammer do? Is it a hammer for building things? What? Wait, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's got a moat. Brilliant. Alright, let's see. Okay, so it goes... You can mine faster? Okay. Uh, I have no axe. I cannot get rid of trees. I have no axe. Okay. Alright, let's see. If I can make anything in the crafting table with what I just picked up. I doubt it. I can make a dirt path. That's about it. What's this? Composter. Okay. Preservative jar. Oh, I'd like to have been able to make multiple in one go. Mm. Yeah, I would have liked to have been able to queue up what I wanted to make rather than have to keep going back and forth. Looks like I can change my outfits too. Is that worms? How does one. No. So a way to just oh you have to hover over it. Soil dwelling bugs, using composers and fishing. Okay, so we have this fishing in the game. I enjoy fishing a lot in my games. Let's make a little pathway and hopefully uh, let's see. Okay, so they connect as well, which is brilliant, because sometimes you 
get dirt puffs and they do not connect and that really annoys me. I think it's this way to the town? It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna have to be that way. Alright, let's go explore it. Uh, um, is it not that way? Well, it's a design now, folks. We're just going to ignore that I did that. Okay, let's see. Hmm? Wood? Hit trees or bushes twice a day to get items. Some will drop items only as soon. I... Um... Oh, I hit them with the hammer. Um... Okay... I'm not sure that's how it works. Items marked with a thick black outline can be collected off the ground. Okay. Ah, this must be a... Ooh. Hello, neighbor. Catastrophe. I'll try to remember that. I'm Jacob Ryle. Hunting sounds like a danger job, but Walter Hull handles it just fine. So long. Okay. I really like the animation. This is cool. Cool, cool. I haven't really seen much in the way of animals. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm William Watt, and I'm the carpenter. You want to get into fishing? The only person I know who sells fishing rods is at the fish shack by the beach in town. Oh, you can trade stuff with them? Okay. Ooh! Oh, axe! Axe! I need the axe. I need 75. I need 75. I hate when that happens. There we go. Now I have an axe. Anything else? Nah, you're good. Haha, <laughs> I finally have an axe. Now I can do this. Why wasn't the axe part of the... I want to know why the axe was not part of the... thing. That really makes no sense. So, hang on. If the... A tool that removes placed items. Oh. Huh. Hmm. I'm not sure I feel about that. Can I ring this? Can I, can I ring this? No. That's a schoolhouse. Where am I going? That's the lighthouse. That's the... Click to fast travel? Wait. He said to go to the townhouse. Where's the... Hello, bees. Oh, I thought that was going to sting me there. Where's the townhouse? Hold on. Am I missing things? Hang on. So look. Brother's carpentry. Okay. So the town hall is over there. You arrive at the Okay. So this is the town area. Oh. Hello birdies. Flying rats. Hello there. Sometimes it's hard to be in charge. I've had to make many tough decisions over the years. Godspeed. Wait, what? Visit town hall. Oh. Didn't that count? I just spoke to him outside town. Oh, never mind. Ah, there you are. You just saw me outside. Why did you teleport? If you'll follow me, please. You teleported. That's cheating. Now, where is that deed? Aha, here it is. Now, I just need you to sign your name over here. An acorn seal. And with my seal, it is official. The land is now yours. Right, I'm kicking you off for taxing me. Don't forget, taxes are due every Sunday by the end of the day. Be sure to see me to make your payment, otherwise your land will be seized. What? But don't fret, you can earn money by selling your crop or collecting objects around the island. Most folks around here will purchase just about anything for a fair price. I'm sure you'll be able to make your weekly payment without much hassle. Uh. <laughs> now that all the formalities are over, I would like to ask a favor of you. Get out! Let's discuss just over here. Uh, 
Many of our town folk are eager to meet you. I would like you to introduce yourself to some of them. After all, it's not every day that we have new residents on our little island, especially ones who washed up on shore. If you complete this quest for me, I shall reward you with some items. I think you'll find them very useful. Don't you dare give me an axe. I just bought an axe. We also have a bulletin board on the wall just outside the town hall. Town folks use it to post jobs from time to time. If you can, be sure to check it out. Now, there's no time to lose. Off you go. If he gives me an axe... Okay, so I gotta do 50. 50 coins per week. Uh -huh, that seems alright, but taxing me from the get-go? How rude, let me sell in first. What did I pick up? Ooh, a meat shop. Mm. Can I go in? Oh, I can. Ooh, nice. Hello. Your catastrophe? Okay, I might forget that. I'm not expecting Honeywood to gain a new resident out of the blue. Carry on now. What are you doing, little boy? Ah, it's a new farmer. I'm Lewis Jones, and I'm the butcher. You look like a tiny kid. Until next time. It's very alarming. I can't see what they're actually doing back there. Ooh, bread. A uh, sweet dough bakery. It's close though. Ah, the smithery. Welcome to town. I'm Roland Smith and I'm a blacksmith. I wish you luck with your new farm. It's not an easy job. So long. Well, farming's a job. You look like a stranger. What's your name? Catastrophe? Cheerio! You're Catastrophe, right? I've heard about you. I'm Bridget Lloyd. So long. Wait, how many people are there? 18, that's quite a few. I do like a game with abilities to meet people. I'm actually wondering if you can actually make a family in this game too. That's a fishing shack. This is the pier. Wait, is the door... Wait, what? What, what? Hello? Oh, the door's on the side? I didn't know that was there. Um... Uh... There's no one in here. I didn't loot anything or try to loot anything, I swear. Can I go into- no, I can't go into the water. <laughs> Some of them move quite funnily. You can I have that? Is there like a museum, I wonder, where I can actually dispose of things? Hmm. I like the area. The people seem interesting. I kind of wish I was a little bit of voice acting in that, but that's because I do prefer games with voice acting. Why is there a nice keyboard? Is this a fridge? Uh, now I have ice cubes. Uh, <laughs> I hope I didn't steal that from someone just then. You saw nothing, mister. Huh, okay. Well, it looks like I can get some stuff as well, which is nice. Flowers? Yeah, I'll be able to make that money in no time, but what is the end of day in this game? Is it like, um, when you go to bed at like 8-ish, 10-ish? Or is it like, Say five o'clock. Because I don't know what time end of the day is for this game. Where's my farm gone? Oh, straight ahead. Hello, bird. Well, how do I. Oh no, I can just sell things, right? I wish I was kind of like a shipping bin. Hello. No. Come here. Okay, so just left click if you want to quickly move things like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, folks, whilst my character sleeps, I am all out of time. Shush. I am all out of time. Thank you so, so much for... To... Yeah. Okay, folks, I am now all out of time, sad but true. Thank you so much, Unwound Games, for allowing me to play Echoes of the Plum Grove. I really like the game so far. I won't lie, it does remind me of a few other games I've played, but I like the originality in the game so far. Did I just do the moonwalk? I, I, I can do the moonwalk. Wee! Wee! -wee. <sighs> I like the characters so far. I like the design, the art style overall. 
And now I'm feeling a little motion sickness for some reason, but that might just be me where I just haven't had enough to drink in the background. But anyway, I really like it. The music's really nice too, not gonna lie. Um, the bit with the ship might have been the cause of the motion sickness, but oh well, it's fine. Anyway, guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.